Or playing with something a little different today. This one is okay, but it falls inside of the crap. But uh, you've got stir up uh, spring and some fungal flowers that we These are great for um, all different types of projects, but dimensional flowers, when I first was aware of them, I used them with Baltimore album type applique. I would make little flowers, put in place all the flowers on applique with something dimensional. So it's kind of a fun project. The other thing that works is putting them on hats, headbands for little people, bracelets also, you can stitch them up. And think about wedding accessory. Um, on a wedding sash, on a wedding bag, also homecoming, granddaughters. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. They are fun to make. You can make them all different sizes and attach buttons for the center. Also layer them so that you've got one on top of the other. Turn out cuter when you move all to color to see. I'm glancing side to see if you can see. See. All right. So this is what we're going to create, and then a button goes in the middle. The way that this is done is we're going to flip down so you can see my hands and my mat now. Straight. Perfect. So. We start with squares. Squares can be any size that you want. I just cut some at two inch. Two inch square makes this size flower. And I cut some at three inch. I got that one in the process. And I cut some four inch, which is this largest size. And you can do them, as I said, bigger, smaller, whatever size you like. But you start with a square. Also, it's a circle. We'll talk about that in a bit. And I'm going to just show you the basics. Some people call this petals on a string. And the reason we call it that is see as you get going, you connect them all on one long thread. So you start with a square, and the square then gets folded in half as a triangle. And then you press it. So it's like this. Square, triangle. And press some string. And then the next thing you do is go this way. So that, and then press again. So you have a nice flat triangle. And you're going to need five of them. And as we get ready to sew, the one thing that I've found as I stitch is if I snip off the tails, this is a little bit. It gives me less bulk. Just that little bit of a tail. Um, and I'm going to do that on all five pieces. Yeah. Grab some thread. With the matching thread, I'm going to relax in my stitches. This is just a really simple large uh, This is my favorite. It's absolutely butter. I am using um, hand applicators. These are a size 12. They're pretty little. See, um, folks tend to be doing big stitches to go for a big, this many layers of fabric, four layers. Um, it's hard to push a big um, Folks are sometimes flat and say it's a size robot. Which sounds funny, but it comes to a small needle. I'm welcome to sewing desk. Always fun. I'm uh, bringing in the background. Sorry about that. Okay. So, the, um, sorry. Okay, uh, one sec. Sorry about that. 
So anyway, um, the needle that is small works out real well. The way the needle threader works is I'm going to put the needle eye down. I grab the thread, lay it into the trough, pull it down into the trough, don't hold it, and then just push the button and gently lift it out. What it does is a in the eye of the needle that I can just grab and my spread it. Then I move I pull I lay that thread across my finger, hold it, wrap around, and I pull it off my finger, grab that knot, and pull. I want to start from the top. Just a little the bottom edge. Not, not beautiful. All this is is gallery. When I finish, I want to come out on the top. So when I started, started on the top, did a running switch, I last so through the top. And then all I'm going to do is pull this. And then I'm going to put it off this one. From the top, doing that running stitch all the way across. Watch me do that. But this is it's quite the morning. Sorry about that. So I'm going to create a string of this. Okay? And what that's going to look like, I should do it. But when I've got that done, what See, this is where the name came from. Petals on spread. So I've got five petals all on this thread. And all I'm going to do is pull this, and we're going to gather all the way to the To travel on the right. And then I follow. So once I've got those all threaded and pulled, right, then you can cut that first. All of that finishes that flower. My flower is going to look like this. Finish off. Five is on one. But again, this is a quarter square, and this is the total size that you've got from that square. Two inch square. They are made earlier. Really 
quickly see how easy it felt. And again, I can layer these and put different colors in here. That would be size down. And then in the center, I just use hot glue 6000 and glue a button and then ready to stitch down. So just kind of a fun little project. Um, a couple other things is this one is made from circles rather than squares. Got these all on my This was cut from a circle. So I had a large circle and just folded it out and it quarters. And I've got across here. And on this one, I've got six petals under color. When I pull that tight, I get a real cute little look of a multicolor color. So I can do multi-colors, I can do multi-layers. The other thing that I can do is take some green fabric, and if I want to create a little leaf, I can make it come out from under power. And all that is on the leaf is and I can do it not quite That gives me a flat top. That creates my leaf. Again, I can pull running across here and pull that tight. I want my shape. Or I can just flat just like this. Again, the smaller the flower, obviously that leaf is that flower. But it's a good size for smaller. So, a whole little thing. So, they work great on little girls' headbands. You just beautify some. They're really nice if you're doing um, purses and things for um, weddings or homecoming. If you want to do a little sash on a homecoming dress, you could put a few flowers there. It would be also on a purse or a zippy pouch. This is a fun little project. That's all there is to it. Then put five petals on a string. Five petals on a string. Pull them tight. And away you go. Get your powers. Thanks for stopping with us today.